and he called her the queen. And Jackson was an old man. Henry Capono is an award-winning and Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter who was recently here on Guam to perform not only at the Hyatt Regency Guam, but also at the annual Labor Day picnic. We got a call to, uh, to come over to Guam and um, we just came because we love, you know, we love playing here in Guam, and I haven't been here for a while. Uh, every time we come here, it's, um, you know, it's just good to be here. People are so nice. Picnic goers were able to enjoy the sound of the Hano Hano Awards, which is equivalent to the Grammys' multiple recipient. It's taken home awards for Male Vocalist of the Year, Song of the Year, Single of the Year, and Album of the Year. The night before, Kapono, which means Rijis in Hawaiian, treated many of his island fans to an intimate concert at the Hyatt. And with the concert, there was something special that he did that he had never done on Guam. It's something we haven't, we, we've never done before. Um, you know this um, unplug thing, and um, it was great. We had a great time. When I asked him whether he preferred a more intimate atmosphere to a big stage with a huge crowd, he had this to say: "I like it all. You know, I get an opportunity to play music for people, and um, you know that's what my my life is all about." Is, music and making people feel good. While many of us know Capono for his incredible music, he's also the author of the award-winning children's book, A Beautiful Hawaiian Day. He's even appeared in the films Damien and Waterworld and has made many television appearances. Although Henry has had no formal musical training, he started singing in a children's church choir at the young age of five. His dad taught him how to play the ukulele. He would come home from work and sit in his easy chair and play the coolest stuff. He admits that he saw a friend of his play a guitar one day and fell in love with the sound of it. After teaching Capono a few chords, he was hooked. After that, he went on to teach himself how to play by listening to records, radio, and watching other guitarists play. Henry's career kicked off in a big way, forming a collaboration with Cecilio Rodriguez from California. The duo known as Cecilio and Capono became an instant phenomenon that took Hawaii by storm. Blending together their distinctive and individual talents, they gave contemporary and folk rock a new perspective. Within eight months, Cecilio and Capono had a recording contract with Columbia Records, a first for a Hawaii group, crowning them the largest recording artist to come out of Hawaii. In 1981, he pursued a solo career with the extremely successful release of Capono, Stand in the Light. Since then, he has released a total of 17 solo albums. Recently, Capono released a new CD called Home in the Islands, which is a 15th anniversary special edition album. It's really celebrating 15, uh, an album that we did 15 years ago. Um, and we get requests for the songs, and it's just was a great album, and we thought we just put it out again and um, give it a, another boost and we added a couple songs, uh, a couple new songs, one called Chillin' on the Rocks and the other one called um, Taste of the Tropics. Some of Capono's musical influences include such talented artists like Bob Marley, John Lennon, Jimi Hendrix, Sting and Stevie Wonder. Influences that are so powerful they're reflected in his music. His music transcends his Hawaiian heritage, which he prides so much and embodies the spirit of aloha that he has for all the people. He's truly appreciative of all his fans on Guam and amazed that his music transcends generations. Well, it makes me feel great, you know. I mean, <laughs> I'm, you know, it's, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm always surprised I'm still doing it, but you know, I love doing it, and I think that's uh, the key for me that that I love doing what I do. Kapono has become a household name throughout Hawaii and the Pacific. His music has taken him all over the world and his fan base is very diverse. As for what Kapono has lined up next after he departs Guam? Um, we do a bunch of conventions in, in, in Hawaii. Um, I'm doing a thing in Canada for um, a weekend or something and then uh, you know, little things here and there and then we probably won't do another tour until possibly next spring or next summer. He had four little but meaningful words to say to all of his fans on Guam. I just love you. 